In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Minecraft Exit Code 1 error. Now this is one of those issues that doesn't have one definitive solution, but in this video I'm going to showcase the most common causes of this problem and of course how to fix them. So one of the most common reasons that this could happen is your mods folder. What I mean by that is that you could have an incompatible mod in your mods folder that is causing this issue. So in order to actually check your mods folder, all you want to do is you want to go up here to where it says installations in the Minecraft launcher. And then you want to go ahead and select on the installation that is causing this issue. So for me, Minecraft for Forge 1.12.2 is causing this issue. And all you want to do is go to the right and then select on this folder icon right over here. And then a bunch of folders will appear. And all you want to do is select the one that says mods in all lower case so it's right here and here it will display all of the different mods that you currently have now here's where you guys need to be very careful you need to make sure that the minecraft installation is compatible with the mods that you have inside your mods folder so for example right over here i have optifine for minecraft 1.21 this is going to cause issues because I have Minecraft for 1.12. So as you're able to tell, the two versions are not compatible. 1.12 and 1.21 will not work together. So in order to fix this, what you need to do is you need to get this mod outside of your mods folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. But if you're doing it on your device and you still want to keep this mod, then you can just drag it out to your desktop or just put it somewhere else. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it right over here. So that is definitely one of the most common causes for this issue. Issue. And anyways, guys, the next common issue is having an outdated version of Java. Now, Java is essentially what allows you to run all these different mods and installations. So in order to actually check that you have the correct version, you want to go over here to the search bar and you want to go ahead and type in add or remove programs. And then all you want to do is just open it up. And then you should see all of the different apps that are on your device. And all you want to do is go to the search bar and then type in Java. And once you're over here, it will tell you exactly what version of Java you have. So in order for this to actually work, you need to make sure that you have at least Java 17. So currently I have Java 21, which means that it is compatible and that I am good to go. However, if you have an outdated version of Java, do not worry because updating it is incredibly easy. All you need to do is open up any web browser and look up Java download. Then go over here and select on the website called oracle.com. This is a reliable website that will allow you to download Java. All you want to do is select on JDK21 because we will need at least Java 21 right over here for a majority of mods. Uh, like I said, Java 17 or above will work. However, for more recent mods, uh, I do suggest getting Java 21. And from here, you can select on what platform you're on, whether you're on Linux, Mac OS, or on Windows. If you're on Windows, go ahead and install the x64 installer and basically you need to make sure that you have the correct version of java in order for your mods to run properly and another really common issue is your forge installation now sometimes your forge installation could just be causing you problems and if that's the case for you then what i suggest you do is re-download that version of forge so in order to actually fix that all you want to do is open up any web browser again and then you want to go ahead and look up forge download then go ahead and select on the first link that appears it should uh, be called file files.minecraft.forge.net and then all you want to do is just download the correct version of forge so for me it was like 1.12.2 i believe so i would go over here and actually download this and for here i actually recommend downloading the recommended because it is the more stable version it is the one that is tested more so go ahead and just download this again press on installer and then all you want to do is just go ahead and press on this top right button that says skip and then you should get the forge installation and all you want to do is just go ahead and press on it like so and then you should get a menu that looks like this and all you want to do is go ahead and press on ok and then it will now successfully install forge to your minecraft launcher and those are the most common causes and solutions to the minecraft error code number one issue if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe see you later french fries